हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट transfusion autologous blood transfusion is transfusing one's own blood to oneself that means before the, the that is we transfuse the patient's blood to himself so it can be done in three ways one pre donation two normal volemic hemodilution three blood salvage first we do pre donation in pre donation first and foremost we Uh, remove the blood of the patient okay the patient will uh, the patient will first uh, um, give or donate his blood and once he donates his blood that blood is preserved in the blood bank and after the surgery that same blood of the patient is given to himself that is pre donation in pre donation the hemoglobin for the pre donation the patient should have a hemoglobin of more than 11 g percentage and the last donation of blood should be done more than 72 hours before surgery the main disadvantage in pre donation is it, it there is chances of mismatch transfusion is seen second we have normal volemic hemodilution this in normal volemic hemodilution so in this it is a blood conservative technique where we remove the whole blood um shortly after induction of anesthesia first we will induce the anesthesia and after induction of anesthesia we maintain the normal volemia of the patient using crystalloid and colloid replacement and we remove the blood from the patient and once you remove the blood maintaining the normal volemia that means there will be decreased number of blood cells lost during the intraoperative bleeding and as a result this will this hemodilution will make the will increase the oxygen delivery to the tissues the best hematocrit level should be maintained to be 30 to 35% this will increase the oxygen delivery to the tissues and this hemodilution is a cheap technique and there is no risk of mismatch three we have blood salvage in blood salvage we we have intraoperative blood salvage or also called has intraoperative cell salvage in intraoperative blood salvage is a medical procedure involving recovering the lost blood during surgery during surgery the lost blood is recovered and that lost blood is reinfused to the patient this is a form of auto trans transfusion so contraindications of autologous blood transfusion autologous blood transfusion is contraindicated in the following conditions absolute contraindications include in malignancy in septicemia autologous blood transfusion is contraindicated relative contraindications include myocardial infarction uncontrolled hypertension cyanotic heart disease blood transfusion less than 10% and sickle cell disease are the relative contraindications of autologous blood transfusion so absolute contraindications are malignancy in malignancy if you give blood transfusion then uh, if you take autologous blood transfusion then the number of malignant cells increases and this increases the metastasis and severity of disease in septicemia if we give autologous blood transfusion the blood the infectious agents present in septicemia might increase due to autologous blood transfusion so these two are the absolute contraindications of autologous blood transfusion relative contraindications are mi uncontrolled hypertension cyanotic heart disease bleed uh, the uh, sickle cell disease bleeding time less than 
autologous blood transfusion there are three methods of autologous blood transfusion one we have pre donation in pre donation here the for a, for a patient to do pre donation the hemoglobin should be less more than 11 gram percentage and it should be done more than 72 hours before surgery here the patient will donate the blood and the same patient's blood is stored in blood bank during the process of surgery and after the surgery the same blood is auto transfused to the patient but the main disadvantage here is mismatch transfusion is seen in these patients second normal volumic hemodilution in normal volumic hemodilution is most commonly used here actually we give first anesthesia is given to the patient and then we infuse crystalloids and colloids while infusing crystalloids and colloids we try to remove the blood some of the blood from the uh, from the patient and then once the blood is removed from the patient there are less blood cells in the uh, patient's body because of removal of some of the blood so as a result there is decreased blood cells are lost during the surgery and thus the hematocrit because the hematocrit is also less 30 to 35 percent this will increase the oxygen delivery to the patient this is a cheap technique with no risk of mismatch transfusion like the pre-donation which we have seen uh, here a uh, normal volumic uh, hemodilution the, re the removed blood is replaced within eight hours after surgery then uh, there is blood salvage the third technique in blood salvage it is a medical procedure where the lost blood is uh, extracted sterilized and then it is reinfused to the patient this is not done commonly contraindications of autologous blood transfusion are absolute contraindications are malignancy septicemia relative contraindications are myocardial infarction uh, uncontrolled hypertension cyanotic heart diseases bleeding time less than 10 percent and sickle cell anemia Thank you and thank you for watching.